Hello everyone, this is simplefinancesupport.com presentation. SAP S4 HANA Finance Universal Journal Technical Concepts. In SAP, all the business process posting accounting documents from sales, purchases, taxes, accounts receivables, accounts payables, and fixed assets, and um, other business process, right? So if you think of, I mean, pretty much all the business process which are posting into the accounting from the respective modules. So whenever accounting documents are posted, technically, these are recorded into a technical table, which is header table, PKPF, and a line table which is BSEG BSEG table so these two tables are always updated whenever there is an accounting document is posted in SAP along with these tables underlying index tables are updated depending upon the information which is available in the accounting documents for example if the accounting document is related to expenses and if there is a cost object and that information is recorded in the COBK table along with the COEP table uh, which forms the base for the controlling module and accounting documents are related to customers then you have open items and clear items tables like PSAD and BSID and the same way if you have vendor tables uh, vendor documents and vendor tables are updated so and then um, if it is tax related information there is a table called BSIT is updated in new GL for the ledger postings we have a table called FAGL flex T it's the total table for uh, new GL uh, it is updated and along with um, other index tables like BSAS and um, BSIS which are open items and clear items tables so if you carefully observe for one single accounting document bunch of other doc other tables are uh, posted along with the header table and line item table so obviously you have fi modules co modules and other ledgers so like that there are many many tables are involved in the overall technical architecture when we are accessing this accounting information for reporting so what SAP does is that pretty much it will access index tables for faster retrieval of the data and uh, you know that provides analysis and reporting for example if I want vendor line items uh, I don't go to BSEG table whereas I go to BSED or BS um, sorry BSAK or BSIK table uh, if it is a vendor related open items or clear items so like that SAP has coded in such a way that uh, this this retrieval is faster uh, based on this index tables so this is all the architecture which is available uh, before simple finance or S4 the new generation business suite is introduced so now let us look at how the things are changing in the simple finance or S4 HANA architecture as far as the accounting documents are concerned obviously they are posted from receivables inventory taxes sales revenue purchase payables and all other business process wherever the accounting documents are supposed to be posted uh, will be posted the same way and again they are posted into BS BKPF table and BS EG table uh, which is header table and line item table along with this line item table SAP also is giving a huge database table which is called ACDOCA table pretty much in this table you can have as many columns as you want so you can you can say this is a a big table which is going to host the data for entire accounting information which you are posting into the system and 
along with this big table SAP creates something called views so all the tables which were index tables which are which were there for example particularly BSID BSED BSIK BSAK so like that all the technical tables which were there all these technical tables become views so view is a technical terminology in a database parlance view doesn't exist doesn't allocate a separate memory uh, view is a structure which accesses the underlying database table so here these views are created on the ACDO CA table itself so which means from the access point of view you still go through this views itself but from the database storage point of view you are not going to store in the index tables anymore but you are going to store in a huge database table which is ACDO CA what happens from the technical point of view when it comes to the ABAP code uh, which is accessing this data for the analysis so now since you do not have index tables you are going to access the same information which you used to access earlier using view tables which means uh, technically if SAP code is written to retrieve some data from BSAK table so as far as the technical setup is concerned it is still goes to the BSA BSAK table which has a view but underlying information in that BSAK table is no more a, a database table but it is just a view and it is going to access ACDOCA table which is a universal table to access the data so this universal journal table which is ACDOCA table becomes a centralized information repository for all the accounting information which is processed and posted in the system the way that SAP designed the views is an in innovation uh, which they call as a it's a very innovative way because SAP existing code does not change as far as the access information is concerned whereas only the insertion table insertion will change because your insertions are now directly into the ACDOC table uh, through your regular uh, BKPF and uh, BSIC tables so this is what uh, in S4 version which is like simple fourth generation version uh, SAP has offered so the technical change uh, is is you know given here so what is happening with this uh, universal journal so the moment the data is available in one single table uh, with all the logics uh, which are required so now it's it becomes a single source of truth or single source of information that you are accessing for the purpose of analysis so you don't require to go to bunch of other tables for example uh, CO tables FI tables for analyzing your uh, CO information and FI information all that information is lying in one single source table which is ACDOC table which is universal general table right that gives uh, pretty much like all ledgers for example in all your fixed asset tables are now merged into ACDOC table and all other ledgers uh, are pretty much available in, in, in this particular table itself so no more uh, COPA account based COPA because their entire account based COPA information is available in the ACDO CA table itself. Same way like um, the central finance functionality wherein you can pretty much pull the information from any other system and load into the universal journal table and then you can start um, uh, accessing that information. So important feature which comes into the picture is that derivations that you can write on the ACDO table itself just like that you normally write uh, derivations in uh, in COPA to derive your characteristics you write uh, derivations same way the characteristics in ACDO table can be derived using the derivations 
and then all this is you know coming into you know one big help which is a faster close and real time analytics because you pretty much the the data which is posted on the acdos table is available for analysis the real time analysis and then uh, sap has been talking about the columnar based database model which means like the acdo table has got many many columns so now the access is by column based so which is much faster uh, instead of a row based access so that is another technical um, advantage is coming up and uh, uh, sap calls as a predictive uh, predictive analytics nothing but like statistical journals you can post in system and then these statistical journals are available for analysis so the st statistical journals can be posted based on the historical data also and then that information is available for the analysis then uh, other important feature that is like your bpc module uh, business planning and consolidation module can be directly integrated into you into your uh, uh, ecc uh, or s4 hana um, architecture itself so that you know you have much more um, you know the value for your planning will come up and then on the fly aggregations are possible now uh, because you don't have any index tables so the data which you are uh, retrieving on this uh, huge table which is a hana database uh, table uh, that you can you know how you can build on on the fly aggregations and uh, sap now onwards is offering two versions of its product one is like s4 hana on the cloud as well as on premises so cloud compatibility is much more easier with this uh, universal journal concept all this technical change as we talked about earlier is non disruptive meaning even though sap is replacing many many tables such as all the index tables by creating them as views uh, pretty much it is it is kind of a non disruptive okay so if you carefully observe um, for finance guys this is a huge thing because now what we need is that faster close that is a first and primary um, important aspect because you don't have re, uh, you know reconciliations between different modules because the data is available in one single source and pretty much all ledgers will be holding and hosted uh, side by side in the same table so that you know you are looking at the same information and um, you know like the the derivations like unlimited derivations when we say this is a huge information which um, earlier only available in the copa module now it is available in the accounting itself so you don't you don't require to you know have another um, uh, copa module account based of course you can still have costing based uh, copa for different purposes uh, but like you know the derivations are now available in the uh, acdoca table itself so these are the you know advantages for the business process around uh, simple finance so again uh, you don't require to call it a simple finance now it's like s4 hana finance module which is simple fourth generation finance module um, so sap gives uh, this this kind of um, uh, like you know innovative um, way of offering this information uh, at a single source uh, and uh, through the universal journal uh, with uh, with you know little bit of a technical change of course with this acdo ca table now new business processes are possible so, so that you know you can use the native hana code to write your new fury apps on this database table itself and you can have much more detailed analysis um, on this uh, universal table particularly the statistical journals that you think of here so when you think of revenue accounting um, there there are a lot of um, you know requirements for um, posting the statistical journal for analysis purpose so that you can you know use these statistical journals for you know as a real journals uh, once they become due so that kind of functionalities are required uh, in future so that is the reason this uh, statistical journal is nothing but the predictive analytics are are possible here so hopefully this this gives you a very good information around
how technical structure is changing uh, from R3 to S4 from the finance perspective. Thanks for watching. Please visit www.simplefinancesupport.com for many many videos on the simple finance and also the core business process around finance uh, product costing uh, copa modules and other uh, core modules such as uh, accounts payable receivables and uh, fixed assets uh, modules so you can learn uh, pretty much anything uh, around finance and integrated finance uh, at simplefinancesupport.com thanks for watching this video see you soon